Hey guys, welcome back to another patch notes video 2.36. It's been a while since I did some patch notes videos, mostly because I didn't really have the time for it. But today I, I uh, woke up early and the patch notes was already on at like 7 in the morning. And so I was like, sure, why, why not just record a patch notes video? So here's 2.36 with some big new content. Um, we have a new Legion released, which is Nomad, or Nomad, or whatever. My my guess was Savage. I was I was close. I'm guessing it's going to be close to the Beast Legion in Warcraft. Um, and uh, yeah, there's going to be some like a unit revealed and a couple of balance changes that were definitely necessary, um, especially about Atlantean and Mech. So let's dive right into it. First up, a quick team update. So Liz just got married, that's why he wasn't there for a couple of weeks. And Jules and Curing were moving out of California, so they were moving. And yeah, you, you know that can take a while. So um, they were also not there for a while. And um, that's why you didn't see any patches for like one month. But they are back now and it's going to get started again. And they're going to put out new units and everything and balance patches. Jules is going to patch the, patch the game a lot, trust me, he will. He always wants to. Um, so yeah, we're getting back to a normal state now, I guess, and i um, going to have more patches again. So this is the team update. And here's the info you wanted, Nomad or Nomad. A nomadic race that resides in the dry badlands of Novar. Due to the harsh environment, they don't stay out more than a few days at a time. While some intelligent humanoids exist, most of Nomad consists of fierce animal speci species each with its own unique adaptations to the habitat. Unlike other legions, the creatures of Nomad are mostly solitary and self-serving. They tend to live with and care for their own, doing only what it takes to survive. In recent years, they have felt pressure from outside monsters that entered the Badlands unwelcomed. In response, they have formed an unspoken alliance against outsiders, placing a halt on their tribal, isolationist ways. A band of scrappy and crafty creatures, Nomad fights for survival. So as we can hear here already, um, if you played Warcraft, it kind of sounds a bit like Beast, right? Like Beast was one of the original legions in the game, um, one of the first six. And it, it sounds a bit like it, so I wouldn't be surprised to see any more Beast-like units, like animal kind of units that um, are pretty strong on their own and that don't need a lot of support. So here's the first revealed unit, and it's a tier 1, Looter. Cost 10 gold and 1 supply. So the first 10 gold unit, movement type ground, swift armor, impact damage, low attack speed, melee. So as people already noticed, it's a weaker version of the Bone Warrior, but without the regen. It being 10 gold... And it can still, of course, block certain attacks from, from creatures and, and delay. It's probably going to be very strong, but also one supply. We know like supply management is not that easy and just spamming looters could maybe not be that good. But we'll see how it plays out and if 10 gold units are actually, uh, if you can actually balance them or not. And yeah, we'll see that. Next up is the upgrade Pack Red. Costs 75 gold. Still ground, still swift, still impact, a bit stronger, but with a special ability, treasure hunt. Your pack rider bends this wave battle, when the wave ends, it returns and you gain plus 5 mythium. So basically, it's probably like you can activate it during night, like just like you do with Harden or like with the PV boost. And then this unit is not going to fight for you the next wave, but after the wave you get an extra 5 mythium. This can be very good in certain circumstances when you know you have a lot of value and they're probably not going to send the next wave. So you can get some additional Mephium, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. I think the unit itself, if you just look at the stats, is pretty good, has pretty good damage. So it's probably a useful unit and if you know that you're going to hold the lane anyway, if you're going to hold the next wave, this is definitely a good way to, well, get, get a little bit of extra Mephium and maybe even, you know, overbuild a bit. And, and still kind of like have the value for the important waves, but still have a bit more Mythium as well. So I think this can be very important. It's, it's not just about having one pack red and then doing it for one round. Just think of it that you do this multiple times in the game 
and uh, that you have more than one pack red. I think this can be very beneficial. So in my opinion, a very, very good tier one unit that is gonna be very useful. And below that, just a quick reminder, the Nomad tier two and two new mercenaries are also ready to be released. We're going to introduce them one or two at a time to allow players to adapt and to explore the new content first. Next up, a couple of game fixes about loading screen buffs, fair play, mech, friends list, instability, and the catch area. Um, most important is buffs, which is an issue with the Bone Crusher region. We're also going to see that later on uh, in the balance changes. So this is something that often happened that if you had a Rocco on level 6 or a Brute and they were hitting a Bone Crusher or a Bone Warrior or whatever and their region stopped for a short time. Which is, isn't that way it should be. So if that's fixed now, the units will probably be nerfed a bit, but we're going to talk about that in the balance. So here's the proposed changes to Bone Warrior, Fire Archer, Dark Mage and Bone Crusher. So basically Bone Warrior, Fire Archer and Bone Crusher all got nerfed a bit, but in return, their regeneration is not longer being stopped by Brood or other units. So overall, I would say to all these units, it is a buff. I would say it's a buff to all these units, even like, as long as they're fighting against, against Brutes. Um, if not, this is a nerf, of course except for Dark Mage, which didn't get nerfed, which is very weak right now anyway. Um, but the yeah, important changes, and we can also see a very high usage rate of those units. So, yeah, I, I think they're still even gonna be stronger than before now. But we're not done yet with the tier ones. We're gonna have changes to PV, a small HP nerf, to Veteran, where the bonus attack speed gets nerfed a bit. A buff to Proton and Atom, which is surprising me a bit, because I, I think there's quite a lot of players who actually use them. And another buff to Consorts, which I really like. So I can probably play a bit more Grove again and just go for that Valstream Consort combo. Because Consorts 890 HP, it's not bad. They're they're quite tanky now. Not, not really a full tank, but quite tanky. So I like it. We're continuing with the tier two. Aqua Spirit gets nerfed a bit. I've seen it being used a lot, like people having a couple of Rogue Waves and a couple of Fundamentals and some Frontline, and then just like 50 Aqua Spirits. And they are doing really good. Like, I, I know people were like, ah, oh, I'm not too sure. Like they changed it from two times 18 damage to 30 and 15 damage, but it is way better. It, it really helps clear stuff quicker. And yeah, Aqua Spirit, I think needed a nerf. Um, and then also a unit that a lot of you <laughs> were complaining about, Zeus. Um, basically, the attack speed gets nerfed a lot, the damage gets increased and the power surge gets increased. Um, actually, no, the damage does not get increased, but the power surge damage gets increased. Um, so it's attacking slower now, but there's more of the damage is on the magic side now and less on the impact side. Overall, a really small nerf. And the synergy with APS and MPS is not that strong anymore because their attack speed is lower. Um, we can also see average usage 21%. Actually, I'm a bit surprised. 21% doesn't sound that much, and the win rate is 51%. Um, but as already said there, it's also going to be some, uh, some changes to MPS and APS. So let's go to the tier 3. And here we see a buff to one of my favorite units, Windhawks and Violets get buffed. So apparently low usage, 9%. That's probably just me. Very low win rate, 47%. So now I know what to blame it on. Um, a big buff, in my opinion, Windhawk 20 HP, Violet 60 HP. It's going to help it a lot to maybe get another spell off. I, I'm definitely sure we're going to see Violets a lot more again. Um, then also changes to Gatecard and Harbinger, who both got their attack speed buffed. Currently the win rate of them is really low. I think in general Forsaken win rate seems to be pretty low. Um, probably because they're really missing this one like big fortify tank or something that can then hold that can hold 12 or 17 for them. Um, so yeah, some changes to them which I think are reasonable. Next on the list are our tier 4 towers. Small nerfs to Growl which was a very solid start and you, you never knew is he gonna go uh, for unit on three with like four workers, is he gonna go into like a Hydra on two or whatever? But nerfing Growl is, I think, a good a step in the right direction. Usage rate 37%. That is a lot. Um, 
So yeah, I think in, in the right direction. Honeyflower was not used that much anymore. Gets a buff of 20 HP now, which is probably going to help it a bit on 3. It's like you can see the usage 11%. It's, it probably needs a bit more to actually get back into competitive play. And then the APS nerf, 100 HP, 4 damage. Well, very high win rate, 53%. This was this was needed. But it, it, what, what, impor what is important is that Veteran got nerfed and Zeus got nerfed. So the whole combo is, is nerfed a lot, um, which is going to make it a lot weaker and probably not going to have 53% win rate anymore. Now to the tier 5, and there's also a lot of changes here. So Priests of the Abyss and Azeria apparently didn't get used that much and they have a low win rate. So they're getting some attack speed buffs. Doppelganger gets quite a big attack speed buff from 1.89 to 2, which is of course going to have a way better synergy with stuff like Headchef as well. Low usage 6%, that is really low. I remember I used it recently, but apparently not very, like many other people used it. And it just has a lot of counters, right? So it's difficult to kind of play it out right now. And the, the win rate is 46%, so yeah. And like it's buffed and white man gets nerfed a bit. I don't think that these 50 HP are going to have any big impact because mostly you build the white main to combine them with, with other tanks. So this 50 HP is not going to do anything. And now the tier six, banana haven gets nerfed. The damage gets nerfed. I, I think, I, I don't think the, the damage is any issue. Like we had banana haven had like, I don't know, 80 damage before. Now it's at 53. I think the main issue about Banner Haven has always been that it's pretty tanky and that the damage it returns is insanely high. So I'm not really sure if this is going to make a big difference, but you can see the very high usage, 38%, that's insane. And then last up on tier 6 is the Hydra, which gets the health reduced a bit. Uh, the Hydra Ling health, it's not going to be quite as tanky, but if you get it with a full stack, it's still going to be very strong. And as a lot of people also pointed out, it's very supply efficient. Um, very high win rate, 53%. That speaks for itself. And finally, big changes to the Mercs. No, actually, it's just Fiend getting 10 extra HP. Which I think Fiend is already pretty tanky, so I'm not sure if I really needed that. It would have probably made more sense to get more damage. So it has maybe at least close to what Brute has in damage, but whatever. This is fine. Um, so yeah, that closes out the patch notes. We saw a new unit, we saw a lot of unit changes, unit balance changes, and we got an update and a kind of, uh, yeah, some idea of what's gonna happen in the future. So we're gonna have some more, uh, some more units soon. I'm guessing there were still people who worked on graphics while they were gone. So we could probably hope for, for new units soon. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be quite excited. I will, Probably also post the video of Legion T2 today, but I guess it will not be on this patch yet. But maybe later this evening the patch will actually be live. I'm not sure yet. But uh, another step in the right direction. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And see you again next time.